Welcome to Ocolab YouTube channel. Today we will be reviewing cage incubation systems for time-lapse microscopy and their unique features. Here is what we'll cover. What is time-lapse microscopy? What are the components of a cage incubation system? Can I customize a system for my equipment? And which options do I have when it comes to mixing gas of the desired composition? What is time-lapse microscopy? Essentially, you're trying to image cells on more than one point in time. Let's say a few hours, maybe a few days. Your challenge is keeping the cells alive while on the microscope. You need to control temperature, gas concentration, and provide humidity. In a cage incubation system, heating encloses the microscope. The stage, objective, and nose piece are located inside the enclosure at 37 degrees. The system is complete with a microenvironmental chamber preventing humidified CO2 from dissipating. You will place your sample inside this chamber and locate it on the stage, in the enclosure, at 37 degrees. The enclosure provides an extremely stable environment protecting your sample from drafts due to air conditioning cycles or foot traffic in the microscope room. Let's review the enclosure. At Ocolab, we designed each enclosure for the specific microscope and third-party accessories. However, the part number and pricing is always standard. Ocolab enclosures are designed to fit the profile of each microscope, keeping into account all the peripheral accessories. The enclosure is easy to install, as the panels are held in place by hinge clips. To fully access the microscope, simply remove the front panel. You can add blackout panels at a later time. They are an excellent way to protect your most light sensitive samples. This image shows the system installed on a Nikon inverted microscope. The enclosure has a standard built-in LED light operated with a foot pedal and a dimmer. This allows you to clearly see your sample placement on the stage even when the room lights are off. We design cage incubators for all major microscope brands and models, including upright. A vibration-free humidity module has a built-in housing in the enclosure. The water container can be refilled from the outside without opening the enclosure, avoiding temperature perturbations. This is optimal for most applications, but if you're imaging an open dish, meaning without lid, you must use an active humidity system. Email us at info at oco-lab.com for more information. The temperature controller is digital. It includes a controller and a heater in the red boxes. It is operated with a touchscreen interface OcoTouch in the blue circle. The temperature controller is compact with a small footprint. It is operated with OcoTouch, a 4.3 inch touchscreen interface with onboard memory. The heater can be equipped with an optional HEPA filter. The heating system is equipped with sensors monitoring the temperature inside the heater, the cage, and the sample. Additional sensors monitor the airflow, power of the heater, and speed of the fan. All data is processed by the OcoTouch algorithm, which adjusts each component, ensuring smooth operation and avoiding overshooting the target temperature. Operation in cage feedback mode offers thermal stability within 0.3 Celsius from your set point. Additionally, you can operate in sample feedback mode by inserting a thermocouple in a reference well. Operating in sample feedback mode ensures thermal stability within 0.1 Celsius from your set point. We offer digital as well as manual gas mixers. Gas can be mixed to standard 5% CO2. Hypoxic or hyperoxic conditions can also be reached with the appropriate mixer. Ocolab Digital Gas Mixers offer 0.1% accuracy. Manual gas mixers have a 1% accuracy. 
In this image, you can see the stackable digital gas mixer in the blue box. Digital gas controllers are integrated through cable-less connections. Simply stack the controllers on top of each other and the bus connection is established. A single touchscreen interface is used for a stack of controllers. The touchscreen shows data about gas concentration and flow. Drivers for the most common microscope software are available. The system is complete with a microenvironmental chamber located on the stage inside the enclosure. From now on, I will refer to it as gas chamber. To illustrate the gas chambers, I will use the K-frame as an example. I remind you that chambers for all stage brands and models, including upright, are available. Ocolab chambers have built-in perfusion holes, a sliding lid, and magnetic inserts. Inserts are magnetic. For multi-well plates, you will need the holder in the orange box. If you image slides, please specify if they are 1 by 3 inches in the blue box or 1 by 2 LabTech 1 chamber cover slips in the red box or LabTech 2 in the green box. Each requires a specific insert. Using the incorrect insert will cause the sample to sit improperly and not flat. This slide shows you optional lids that are available for the most common chambers. The sliding lid is always included. The Kohler lid allows you to focus the condenser in case your condenser has a short working distance. The laser interlock lid adds safety when using laser applications. And the injection lid is for the insertion of needles or capillaries. Note that the laser interlock lid and the injection lid are compatible only with an insert for a single 35 mm dish. If you are using an upright microscope, the chamber lid has an opening allowing the insertion of the objective. This opening is a route for evaporation of the media. For this reason, an upright microscope requires an active humidity system. This slide shows the active humidity module. This includes a heated base and humidity sensor lid. Humidified gas is delivered to the sample through a heated and insulated tubing, avoiding condensation. Using the touchscreen interface, you can select the percentage of humidity you want to deliver to the sample in the range 51 to 95%. When using a cage incubator, you don't need an objective heater because the objective and nose piece are inside the enclosure at 37 degrees. Thank you for your time. Check back with us on YouTube for the next tutorial. If you have any questions, email us at info at oco-lab.com.